So here he goes, swinging in with all of his Zerglings. He's going to quickly scoot up by that wall up. It's not good. He's going to continue harassing with those Mutalists. That's very, very dangerous. And he's going to be able to do, can uh, do an attack on this factory, probably forcing him to cancel. Or if he doesn't cancel at all, there's the cancel. There we go. And he's going to move on in here. A bunch of the Thors swinging on mid. The Banshees is going to be doing, if anything, this is going to clear up some inventory. Um, inventory, some food space. But those quickly taking out the Thor. All the Zerglings moving in, quickly taking out that armory so no more Thors can be made. Or at least delay those Thors. And yes, it's going to be taken down before the upgrade gets canceled. Yes, he is going to get that. So Success for Intron on his part, stopping that upgrade and stopping the production of any more Thors. He's gonna swing over here. Is he gonna go for these these supply depots? No, no. He's gonna pull on back. It's mission successful, clearing up that food, and you'll quickly see that go from 182 to 200 again, no doubt. And he's gonna swing in here with a bunch of Zerglings before this gets turned into a planetary fortress at all, going directly for the SCVs and all those turrets being put up to do any damage. He's gonna move quickly move these back, realizing he only needs half of what he has to do any defense or movement, and he's gonna Thor drop. It looks like. Uh, but he is going to quickly kill this off. He, uh, there's nothing he can do about it. Quickly canceling that Planetary Fortress, knowing that it's a lost cause and recover any he can. And we do have another big push going in here. Scanning, it looks like, to take out those creep tumors and push that creep back, reducing the mobility of those forces. But this may be a final confrontation here. We'll see how this goes. Scanning, too, happening to hit with the main link. And all of the investors are going to see Nero Parasite. There's a bunch of fungals dropping. But, no, oh, there's one, two, three. Four, five, all of those are just, oh, that is so bad. There go all of the investors, Neural Parasite, grabbing all those big units, stopping any of the harassment, and using them to kill off his own army, saving him the trouble of having to go anything else here, and just quickly wiping this up. This is not looking good for Deselect at all. There goes another Thor, and these Thors really just really angry, like angry brothers, but Neural Parasite quickly wears off. They realize they were just under the influence of a mind control spell, and then end up dying anyway just as they realized who they were once more, not serving the brood. If we look at the units killed here, uh, workers killed, 38 workers killed after that huge harassment for Idra, and 72 to the 87 uh, units killed. So even on the units for the most part, but the units that were killed for Dignitas were way more expensive than the billions of Zerglings that Idra has lost in that harassment. And I apologize for any low frame rate. For some reason, my frame rate's been dropping uh, during these recordings, so I'm going to have to check that out and see if that can fix that uh, before the next recording and the next game between these two amazing players. Now, he did lose that expansion, so it's going to put him far behind and uh, probably for some sort of big push uh, or try to re-expand, but his, uh, if we take a look at the unit count, his SCV count is 59 to 77, so he's going to need those mules. He has a bunch of Vikings um, expecting some sort of, it looks like, Broodlord play, which is coming, um, but those Mutalists is going to help, and if he's able to get the mind control off and, and take off, which I've seen before, um, quickly kill off. Oh, Thor drop. Sorry, I'm going to see if you can get Thor. Yes, Thor is doomed. There is no, no hope for that Thor now. As I was saying, um, I've seen it used before where Infestors mind control a lot of the Vikings and just land them, and then have their units take them out while they are landed. So we'll see if that's happens or if he just uses them delays or maybe he won't even mind control them at all but there's so many investors and they have so much energy let's see what happens here it looks like he's going to go for another push it is another 200 army versus select 150 so very very much ahead uh against him so as i said losing that expansion was huge and um losing the armory too was another big 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 loss but we did rebuild it but that still is such a huge loss really forcing him back a big big step and now Idris is going to come in and try to prove uh, do the killing blow it looks like quickly scooting on in again by that tiny little hole still has not plugged it up those are going to quickly swing in here there are more mind controls here come all of the vikings realizing they're only mutilists to kill and going for them i think uh, but he's quickly mind controlling them and killing off the remaining and the other th the thors are also mind controlled so this is going to be quickly wiped up and I would not be surprised to see him GG anytime soon. This is not looking good for Sleck. Um, yeah, quickly wiping out his natural. And it is not even that saturated. And yes, there are Broodlords up here as well. Oof, that is not looking good. Uh, quickly spawning more Broodlings and cleaning this up. There's a GG. So game one goes to Idra. And we will see what happens in game two with this awesome MLG Columbus uh, matchup. So I'll see you guys next cast. I can't wait. And I hope you guys come by and take a look as well.